Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you what's in the garden. So today, but we are showing you zucchini. So the best way to grow zucchini is in the ground and more to that later. So as you see here, zucchini that easy to grow to under the Corzette family and shoots are the same Corzette pumpkins and squashes. Mm. What what we what we have here is all sites all sites that are pollinated zucchini might might well in the smell it looks like a squash of rock and you might be surprised to get a bee here so if we have a look here they are a bit spiky so don't handle with hands, make sure you have gardening gloves at least or something to twist the zucchini off or even get a pair of tongs and twist it off with some tongs oh, okay if possible, you can do it with your hands but, but they seem a bit sticky for me and so and I've got on the outside of them as well. So as you see here I've got like new flowers also starting and this is pretty big so what so what we actually have to do here is you is you see a flower with a little like a little brown ball in it, you a big, a big mushy brown particle ball. So you you rub you rub the stick of the male into that so you like rub it into the female part of the flower and the male part like the side of that and then and then and you see there's ants there and I'm pretty sure I think ants were were known to carry like like some bugs in it or pollinate but who knows but all I know is that that bees come in and pollinate these uh, so so I've, I've pollinated that already Good as, work. as you see we've got a little zucchini where is it oh uh -huh. so do you know what that white stuff is on the leaves how it is. Do you know how you deal with that? No. Oh, so you've got to wash the leaves with a um a poison, basically. Otherwise, we might be able to use some of the worm tea, and that has some good bacteria. I just say, I just say this. Look, look closely. This was not a pollinated zucchini. So what? What we could actually do is we could even bury this or we take the seeds out and we grow that which I won't be doing that so I'll keep that for compost and then and then so this is what we have and and the candy will get quiet like to the size this big like a size they can grow it up to like this big, even this big, mm -hmm. if you're not, if you're not careful and you're not watching, but bees will have to do that, and uh, if we come around, where is it, so we've, we've got, what is it, this is squash, and that is butternut pumpkin, that's normal Queensland blue pumpkin and and barnet pumpkin well barnet pumpkin is the same as barnet squash what they call it in America and this is some zucchini that don't that, that's some pots you can never get around of like you'll never get around of doing like, like, like you'll never get around of like putting the plants of like human healthy in pots. They need lots of care in the ground 
there's like more nutrients and sometimes brain nutrients or glucose from brain might be good fertilizer potentially. Okay. As we have years <coughs> as I have years as I have years of the potential to eat this it's still yummy boys. Is it? Yeah. That's good. So if you want to attract bees, maybe we should plant some lavender. Because I grow lots of lavender at my house, and we get bush bees, which are an Australian bee that doesn't sting you, but it still goes through and pollinates everything, and they're really good for your garden and things like that. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. And how is that, the flavour of... Zucchini. It's pretty good, but it wasn't pollinated. Yeah. But and so is there a difference in the taste? Yeah. Yeah. So the pollinated ones will be a, will grow really large, the non pollinated ones won't. But the trouble is the bees are just not coming here, so what we need to do is work out some more flowers. That's a good idea. So yeah. Okay. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now I'm gonna get some photos at the end of this to show you, and well, there's still more to it. That so we so we need to water these as well. So how you water these, you. You get the hose and you just water it, and they can be watered twice a day, and they tolerate the heat as well. So, so they tolerate the heat, and and you come up closer. I'll show you what I'll show you. What's the difference between a female? So let's get, let's get pollinating. So let's pretend I snapped the male off, so snapped, and then torn its pebbles off. And as you see, I've had to hand pollinate that. I've had to hand pollinate that, but the trouble is, it's just the bees are dying. So we need to not kill bees and help them survive. Exactly. As you see, looks like that one, they must have got pollinated by a bee. So you get some big ones, some small ones. Um, now I'll show you a close up. Same deal with, same deal with pumpkins. Pumpkin also you see a pumpkin on it and you do the same, you rub a male flower into a female and the pumpkin squash calls that to the seeny cucumbers. So if you enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe.